वेलकम बैक प्रॉब्लम 1.66 सो स्टेटमेंट इज द 2000 पाउंड लोड मे बी मूव्ड अलोंग द बीम बी डी टू एनी पोजीशन बिटवीन स्टॉप ई एंड एफ नोइंग दैट अलाउेबल स्ट्रेस 6 के एस आई फॉर द स्टील रॉड इन ए बी एंड सी डी डिटरमाइन वेयर द स्टॉप शुड बी प्लेस इफ परमिटेड मोशन ऑफ लोड इज टू बी एज लार्ज एज पॉसिबल सो यू कैन सी दिस इज द बीम बी डी एंड देर इज अ लोड ऑफ 2000 pound that is acting between this stop e and f clear so you have to find this uh, uh, stop to be placed at distance of x e and x f so that this load can be maximally or large as can move as large as possible so let's start with the solution load is given as 200 pound clear the allowable stress for this rod b a b and c d is given as 6 ksi diameter of this rod is half inch while this rod is 5 or 8 inch so first what we will do is that we will find the force due to this load p that is downward we will having a force in a b and this rod c d let this is f c d and this is f a b so by we have been given as allowable stress is 6 ksi which is maximum stress we know that allowable stress is equal to uh, force per unit area so for rod ab for rod ab we have this allowable stress is equal to force ab divided by area of ab now uh, we need this fab so fab will be equal to force in rod ab will be equal to allowable stress into area of ab clear so this fab will be equal to sigma allowable which is 6 ksi so 6 multiply by this area area of this rod having diameter 6 by 2 inch is equal to pi by 2 clear pi by pi by 2 uh, sorry pi by 4 area of rod is equal to pi by 4 d square so pi by 4 multiply by d is 1 over 2 square so when you solve this you will get fab comes out to be 1.178 kips this is fab similarly similarly this uh, fcd which is this one will be equal to allowable stress into area of cd so allowable stress is 6 and the area of rod cd is pi by 4 into d which is 5 by 8 whole square so again when you solve this you will get fcd will be equal to 1.84 kips now you have both fa b and fcd so you will have to find uh, uh, this distance x e and x f so that this load is to be longer can be move as longer as possible so what we will do is that we will draw the free body diagram so if i draw the free body diagram of this beam so it will be like this clear here you will be having this fab fab and here you will be having fcd the total length is 60 so length from here this is 60 inch clear now if load this load is at a distance of x e for example let this is your x e this is your x e if your load is at this position this p 2000 load p is equal to 2000 so you can see that total distance is 600 so this distance will be remaining this distance will be equal to 60 minus xe 
so what we will do is that we will apply equilibrium condition this is your point b and this is your point d so by applying equilibrium condition that sum of all movement about point d is equal to zero and taking the counterclockwise movement as positive so about point d one movement is due to f a b into perpendicular distance is 60 and it is producing clockwise so it will be negative the second movement is due to this 200 and perpendicular distance is 60 minus x e and this is producing counterclockwise so it will be positive so their sum must be equal to zero so i will write minus 60 into f a b f a b plus 2000 into 60 minus x e must be equal to zero so you know that you have f a b is 1.78 kips so you can uh, you have to convert it. so i will write minus 60 into f a b is 1.178 into 10 to power 3 clear that will be convert into pound and uh, plus 2000 into 60 minus xe is equal to zero so this 2000 into 60 minus xe will be equal to 60 into 1.178 one zero into 10 to the power three divide by if you want to convert uh, so divide if you divide 2000 on both side so we will left with 60 minus x e is equal to 60 into 1.17810 into 10 to the power three divided by 2000 clear and you will get this value will be equal to 35.343 clear so we are interested to find of out x e so x e will be equal to 60 minus 35.343 which will give you 24.7 inch so this is the one position of the stops clear now what if we move this load to this point f and we draw the free body diagram just like we have drawn earlier so let this is the beam for example this is the beam this is your f a b this is your f c d clear now you have this distance where the load is applied clear and that is um, 2000 load total length is 60 and here this is position of the second stopper that is xf i will show you this is the xf xf now again this is your point b and this is your point d you can apply the equilibrium condition the second equilibrium condition which one is that sum of all movement about point b is equal to zero and taking the counterclockwise movement as positive so about point b one movement is fcd into perpendicular distance is 60 clear and the second movement uh, this fcd into 60 will creating counterclockwise movement so it will be positive the second movement is due to this 2000 into perpendicular distance is this xf and this is producing clockwise so it will be negative their sum must be equal to zero so i will write 60 into fcd minus 2000 into xf is equal to zero so it means that 2000 xf is equal to 60 fcd so 60 multiplied by fcd is 1.84 kips 1.84 into 10 to power 3 is equal to 2000 xf so xf will be equal to 60 into 
1.84 into 10 raised to power 3 divided by 2000. So from here you will get this XF comes out to be 55.2 inch. So and this is the position of the second stop. So we will conclude that you have to put this stop E at a distance of 30, uh, 24.7 inch, 24.7 inch from this end and XF this stop at a distance of 55.2. So this gap where this weight can be moved, can be traveled will be the maximum distance. And this was all about problem 1.66. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Those who are new to my channel, then subscribe it and press the bell icon so that you can get notification about my latest video. If you have any question, you can ask me in comment section. Thank you for watching.